Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Simon here, hope you're doing well. I'm currently in Saigon, and I'm going to be in Saigon for a little while. So how do I eke out my budget? Well, street food's the way to go. I've chosen seven of the best. These are between 50 cents and perhaps $1.20 uh, each. And if you come to Saigon or come to Vietnam, maybe you could start looking at these street foods. They're incredibly tasty and great value. So let's get on with it. There can't be many things more iconic than the banh mi, with cellars found in every block in Saigon. The short baguette with thin crisp crust and soft airy texture is the banh mi, but it's often split lengthwise and filled with savoury ingredients, like a submarine sandwich, and served as a meal, and that's called banh mi tit. Plain banh mi is also eaten as a staple food, and it's just the best kind of baguette in the world. It's lighter than French baguettes due to rice flour being used in addition to bread flour, and it's an ideal breakfast, lunch or snack. Popular and very cheap at street food markets, Banseo is basically a thin, crispy crepe or pancake made from a basic blend of rice flour, turmeric and coconut cream. Seo refers to the sizzling sound it makes when the batter hits the pan. It's got that irresistible crispy yet delicate golden brown crust. And the inside of the ban seo is filled with delicious flavours like pork and shrimp and sprinklings of mung bean, onions and bean sprouts. It's eaten with lettuce and herbs, which freshens and counterbalances the fried pancake. Although this is street food, they are served in more upscale restaurants, but they don't half pad the sayo out with bean sprouts. One of my all-time favourite stews, and very popular for breakfast. It's packed with tender fall-apart braised chunks of beef and tendon, loaded with herbs, aromatics, and served with a banh mi to mop up the rich, delicious broth. Although it can commonly be served with noodles. Do taste the broth to see if you need to add some lime or seasonings and herbs. Thai basil is a fave of mine. It's dead easy to make at home, and you never know, I might actually have filmed a recipe. Well, the UK has its full English breakfast. Vietnam has bonet. Each restaurant has its own variation that basically consists of butter sear seasoned steak topped with pate and served with maybe a sausage, onions, an egg and definitely a banh mi to mop up all the creamy meat juices. There's no getting away from the fact it's a heart attack on a cow shaped sizzling skillet but it's a great way to start your day. Do top it with some soy sauce and some chilli, just to pep up that flavour. Another cheap and popular street food, Bun Tet Nung, a delicious combination of grilled pork, cold noodles, veggies and fish sauce. You have your sweet bits, your sour bits, caramelisation, some crunch from the peanuts and aromatic herby bits in one single colourful bowl. Use the fish sauce to make your own custom dressing. There's a great street seller around the corner who cooks his pork fresh to order and it's such a cheap and satisfying meal to take home. Saigon and Com Tam are inseparable. As you walk down any local street, you'll see plumes of barbecue smoke coming from the cellars of Com Tam. Barbecued pork on sticky broken rice, 
sometimes topped with pickled veggies and maybe a fried egg on occasions. The rice is a little sticky as the grains are broken and the gluten is exposed. It's a texture thing and with the marinated barbecue pork I could eat this all day long. I'm sure wars have been fought over who has the best fur, as there are so many variations across Vietnam. It's as iconic as the banh mi and considered soul food. In the south, Phu Nam has a rich broth, often stewed for hours, rice noodles, herbs and meat, sometimes chicken but usually beef, which you can pep up and balance with bean sprouts, lime, chilli and dipping sauces. The broth is very meaty with hints of ginger and Thai basil leaves. Pho is an aromatic dish and the gently spiced beef or chicken soup tastes so flavoursome. Found outside any government building or school, this economical snack is all the rage. It's essentially grilled rice paper used like a pizza base and can be made with any toppings you have on hand. Quail's eggs, mal shrimp paste, green onion, canned meat, they're all popular, but it's always topped off with a swirl of sriracha. Crunchy and a steal at the price. So those are my hot picks, seven of the best, things that I buy consistently because they're tasty and good. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm off to Hanoi soon. Why don't you join me for a similar video then? So until next time, bye.